we were never going to have kids. Uh, we were going to travel the world. Sleeping until 10 on the weekends and sitting quietly at Starbucks for hours at a time reading the newspaper and just, you know, we were having a blast. We went to Paris, we went to Spain, we went to uh, Italy. We finally went on a trip to Austria and had an amazing time. We were in Vienna looking in the window of a uh, antique store and something happened. We, we, we kind of started talking about how is this all there is? We realized, you know, we could keep doing this forever, but we're going to wear it out. And oddly enough, at the same time, we realized that there must be something more and maybe it was being parents. I was like, congratulations, we're pregnant, you know. She told me that we were going to have a baby and we we're just over the moon, very excited. The pregnancy went fine. There was nothing, no problems, nothing. It went great. It was wonderful. A tremendous, tremendous experience. Getting home, I knew I was anxious. We had a nurse that was there to help. I already decided I'm failing this because here I am having somebody else do what I should be doing. So I wouldn't let her do anything. She was really down. And I attributed it to the fact that she just, I mean, it was like what she did was like running three marathons and getting in a professional boxing ring. I was having trouble eating. I was having trouble sleeping. I was having trouble really taking care of him and feeling any sense that I was doing it correctly or that I was being a good mother. She didn't want to give him a bath. I would give him a bath. And I didn't notice that at first, but she was terrified to be I came to notice over the first week to 10 days, she really did not want to be involved with him and water, him and stairs. Um, anything where he could be in potential danger, I got to do. One night I was putting him to bed and I, I was burping him with the burp cloth and the thought came into my head, what if I smothered him with it? It was that moment of feeling so bombarded by how weak I was, how sick I was, how miserable I was how much of a failure I was and that it all hurt so bad that I didn't want to hurt anymore was when I decided to ask for help. It wasn't until Jack's first birthday, unfortunately, um, where I really thought, you know, this is gonna be okay. Going out for a walk with Jackson in the stroller and um, we forgot to put the insert in the stroller so he just kind of laid in there like a lump of clay and. That was, uh, you know, going on two years, I guess, and Catherine would have been so freaked out that he didn't have all that little stuff jammed in that stroller, and we just had a laugh about how he was laying in there. I did not know that I wanted to have another child. Once you go through that kind of experience, um, you'd be kind of a sucker <laughs> if you sort of wanted to do it again. It was God's idea to have a second child. I just got pregnant. <laughs> to be honest. We were educated, we understood things, we had to have conversations this time about whether Catherine would take medication for um, depression throughout the course of the pregnancy or not. I felt like I had a team around me, you know, I have these psychiatrists who, who really are some of the top specialists in this illness. I have a husband who knows what can happen, knows how to deal with it now, or at least how to be, you know, supportive of me. You know, I already had appointments set up to see my psychiatrist um, after my daughter was born. They were going to be monitoring me, so they were, they were really watching my symptoms literally week to week. So for some reason, I just felt almost maybe a strange sense of calm. Be ready to support them, whatever they need. If it's ice cubes during the birth, if it's uh, helping them out early on, give everything you've got up front. Put as much effort and energy as you can into the pregnancy and into those first month and a half and it will pay dividends. Go grab the kid that you have. Not the one that's in the belly, but the one that's out here in the world. And I want you to look at this baby, this gorgeous child in the face and think about all that you have accomplished despite the fact that you had that illness. You have to hold that in your mind when you think about this happening again. And, and hopefully, as was my case, being treated will allow you to have a great experience. Mm -hmm.